What's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to be doing an example using tkinder's buttons to delve into event handling. So here we just have an example problem, which is create an interface that increases or decreases a value by one and has a reverse button that switches the increase and decrease function. So we started out with the skeleton, just the basic tkinter format, and we're going to be creating these buttons first. So the first button is going to be the increase button is a button. The first argument is root and the text is just going to be a plus sign. The command is going to be increase. And let's create our functions here. We have increase and decrease. For the geometry management, we're going to be using grid. So increase button dot grid the row is going to be zero in the column. Let's make the plus button on the rightmost side. Now the actual value, we can just call it value equals label. The first argument is root and the text is going to start at zero. We're going to put value dot grid row equals zero and the column is one so that we can put it right in the middle. The decrease button is going to be the same as the increase button. The only difference is the text is going to be a minus sign and the command is going to be decrease. And then follow the grid geometry management by saying decrease button dot grid row equals zero and column equals zero. So if we run this, we're going to get an interface and we don't really have anything that works here. It's just the skeleton. So we have the plus and the minus button and a number right in the center. So let's go ahead and add the reverse button. We're going to say reverse button. It's just the same as the buttons we've been creating is button root. The text is going to be reverse. The command is going to be reverse. We're going to say reverse button dot grid. We're going to put it on the second row in the middle of the other two buttons. Then we have to create a function for reverse, which is going to make the plus decrease the value and the minus increase. This is what the interface looks like now. So we have the skeleton done. We have the structure. Now let's add the function. So if you want to increase the value by one in our increase function, what we have to do is grab the value that this label currently holds. We're going to say that value, the text of the value equals value text plus one. So let's just run it on the increase and see what we get. The plus button is increasing this little number in the middle. So to get the value to decrease, we follow the same idea. We can just copy that code down and make it minus. Run this again and we can see that the plus is increasing and the minus is decreasing. So how would we add this reverse function to make it where the positive is actually decreasing the value and the negative increases? Well, all we have to do is come into our reverse function and say that when this reverse button is pressed, it's going to call the function reverse. And that reverse is going to make the increase button command that's going to be the decrease function and the decrease button command is going to be increase. If we run this, now we can see that the positive is increasing and if we hit reverse, the positive button starts to decrease the value. So how do we set this back to normal? Because if we just keep on pressing reverse, it's never going to change back to how it originally was. What we have to do is create another function. We could just call it anti-reverse. And what it's going to do is take the increase button and set its function back to increase. So we could just copy and paste this code and change the resultant functions. One more thing is we want to actually make these buttons continually reverse each other. So when you press the reverse button, you want the next press of that button to be the anti-reverse. So that way you can always flip flop back and forth between the two sets of commands. So we're going to say that when you press reverse, 
the reverse button command equals anti-reverse. And on the anti-reverse, when you press the button, it's going to set everything back to normal. So now when we run this, we're going to see that positive is increasing the value, negative is decreasing. But when we reverse, this value starts to decrease and the value increases with negative. Pressing the reverse button again resets everything back to normal. This video was a very basic introduction to event handling, which is very straightforward with buttons, as the command events are actually bound to the functions that the buttons are held to. I hope this video is helpful and stay tuned for more event handling in tkinter.